You've known him as Piston Cup Productions for the past two years. The creator who brought you Racing Like a Fireball and Racing Like a Drag Racer and Hudson, a Disney car story. He also brought you... Uh, he, well, yeah, basically just a bunch of stop motions with Disney Cars audio and all that other stuff and stop motion. I don't really do much anymore, but we'll get to that in a bit. I mean, <clears throat> anyways, he also made you a better Cars fan. Well, actually, I don't think I did that. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know. And today, after much consideration and a lot of soul searching, he has finally decided to do a face reveal and the origin story of how he got to where he is today. Please welcome the one, the only, Piston Cup Productions. Hey guys, you've known me as the Golden Disney Store Lightning McQueen for a while now with a hand holding him. And then afterwards, you knew me as this thing, 155 scale now and not Disney Store and a lot more reflective with the Cars 3 paint job. So how about that? But now, yes, as you heard the commentary guy say, it is time, you can kind of see it right there already. Yeah, it is time for a face reveal. You can see my face already, but here we go. ka -chow. There it is, face reveal. Not the car anymore, but me now, as in, yeah, this is me. This this is oh my voice is cracked. Yep, this is me. You all have been asking for your face reveal a lot, and I've been considering this a lot also. And um, we have a lot of stuff to talk about in this video. But first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all of my fans out there who have stuck with me ever since the beginning, and I love you all so so much because without you guys, I wouldn't be here where I am with this little guy right here, and all of these guys right here. So, without further ado, let's get through this video. So, I'd like to talk about, first off, my face. No, I'm just joking. But yeah, um, a little bit of information about me. Let's see. You guys can ask, uh, ask more questions in the comments after the video, but here are a few things. Uh, my name. Now, <laughs> well, on YouTube, everyone knows me as Piston Cup Productions, but um, my real name is should i say my name should i should i say my name okay the rest of the video is just piston cup productions talking to a toy car of himself no but yeah my name is gael garcia carranza and basically how you spell my first name is g-a-e-l and then garcia and then my last name well i have two last names garcia and carranza or carranza so I have two last names, and yeah, I mostly just go by Gael. I don't have any nicknames besides Piston Cup. A lot of people just call me Piston Cup at school. And yes, people at school do know me as Piston Cup Productions, or Piston Cup, like I just said. But um, anyways, I am 15 years old. I am about five foot eight. I am inevitable. Nah, just, um... <laughs> Let's see what's in. I uh, I was born in San Francisco, California, and I lived there until I was about five years old. And I visit often, probably like every four or three years. Um, I left in two thousand five, I'm guessing, or no, two thousand. No, my bad, two thousand nine maybe. And I revisited in two thousand thirteen. Uh, two thousand well, two thousand thirteen. I went to Six Flags. In Sacramento and then in 2017 I went to Disneyland and then I also went to Carsland um, when I was barely like at 100, 100 subscribers or 200 or maybe even less and then in 20 tw last year 2018 to San Diego not San Francisco but it was California let's see more information about me um I currently don't live in San Francisco anymore. I wish hopefully one day I do. But oh yeah, I have visited Hollywood before when I went in 2017 to Cars Land. I did go to Hollywood as well. Um, so I passed by Jake Paul's old house and I saw it. Um, I currently live in Texas, as you all probably know. Um, I'm not gonna say what part. I don't think I feel really comfortable with saying what part yet. 
but maybe in the future, which brings me to my next point. Do you guys want to see me start a brand new vlog channel or vlog on here? Because as you guys have probably seen already on my community post on the YouTube tab that I've asked you guys if you would prefer to see vlogs on this channel, Piston Cup Productions, or a brand new channel. The name is still in the development. I don't know what it's going to be called, but would you guys like to see vlogs on Piston Cup Productions? Or your brand Piston Cup Productions or your brand new vlog channel. See, it's empty because I haven't made it yet. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm going to vlog stuff I do every day. There's going to be a lot of behind the scenes stuff with cars, especially how I make my stop motions and my videos and edit and all that stuff. Um, if I make a new channel, I can just do it on here as well. Another thing is I am going to do stop motion collaborations now where I collaborate with um, other uh, YouTubers who make really good stop motion. And basically what that is, is where uh, I help them create stop motions from like, let's say, um, for example, okay, let's say another YouTuber that likes cars. Let's use MacFan100, just a made up name. And let's say MacFan100 wants to collab with me on a stop motion and he's really good at it. Well, he can do it at home, but for example, if he wants me to voice Mater, then I'll step into a stop motion and voice Mater. And then when he wants to upload it on his channel, he'll upload it on his channel and he'll send it to me so I can upload it on my channel as well. So I can promote his channel and at the same time, I can show you guys what a stop motion collaboration is with the work of two partners creating a stop motion video. And this is going to be kicked off with none other than the car shifter. Um, the first collaboration, not with my voice, but between both of us, should be this Thursday, December 12th, I believe, right? December 12th. And basically, it's a Cars 1 remake. And we'll go from there, but we're going to work together a lot, me and the Car Shifter, on stop motion. Because you guys know, what got me really popular was stop motion. I kind of not grew out of that, but I don't really think I have the stuff for it anymore. Um, I feel like it's time for other people to continue the stop motion because I remember um, stop motion was pretty much kind of dead, I guess. And then I made the cruise flip, my first ever stop motion. And then I, I saw a bunch of other cars, YouTubers doing it as well. I was like, did I basically just bring stop motion to life again? Um, so yeah, there... I'm going to say right now, there are a lot better people that make stop motions than me. I am not the best person to make stop motions. Trust me, I'm not. A lot of people are fan of them, are fans of them, but I'm thinking of not doing stop motions anymore, but now I'm going to be doing the stop motion collaboration. So basically, I'm just voicing characters in stop motions, but I'm not creating them. I can give them tips. I can give you creators tips, like um, how many frames per second or the angles and stuff like that. Which brings me to my next topic. I am going to start making more stories as in, where is he? Racing like a fireball stories and stuff like that. This guy right here uh, was the villain of my first movie, Racing like a fireball at the beach. Uh, most popular video on my channel recently. It was the McQueen getting ready remake. I think it was the first version and not the second remastered version. And basically, this has become the most popular video on my channel ever. This is not the sand version though. This is the one from the second film. So my oh my bad on that. Um, yeah, this is from the sequel that I released just last week. It's almost at 10,000 views in a week. So that's pretty good. I think it can get it up here by the end of... It took a year to get to 2 point some million views for the first movie. So I've got confidence. I'm going to hold on tight to it. That the second film we do will do a great job. Uh, where is the... There he is. I uh, lost the spoiler back there. But here is the Lightning McQueen prop from the movie, from the second film. And basically, this guy right here is a spare or a stunt double I used for the film. It is a stunt double, so he has crashed and scratched up and everything. Yeah, here's the prop from the movie. 
I'm just looking on the screen right here. All right, so that's McQueen, the XRS one from the second film that I created. So basically, I'm gonna be making more films, more original stories. Um, I am thinking of doing more Toy Story, maybe stop motion, I'm not too sure yet, again, because with this whole new collaboration thing I've come up with and wanna do. Um, I'm thinking of Disney Frozen 2, Disney's Frozen 2. Um, mostly photography for Frozen 2. And then another thing is Disney Descendants. So you can see the camera right here. I've got this poster of Descendants 3. And then two dolls over there. Let me put the camera down. Please don't fall on me. Okay. So, um, yeah, what are some other things I want to talk about? Um, with this whole COPPA thing that's going to happen, you're probably asking yourself, aren't you scared that your plans are just going to be destroyed not really kappa comes into effect or not i'm still going to continue especially now that i've revealed my face but anyways i'm just so grateful for this guy right here the piston cup productions team and this youtube channel because you guys have gotten me Almost to 35,000 subscribers in the past two years, and I think I'm doing pretty good. And I hope to keep it strong and continue as as a YouTuber, now as a vlogger, I'm guessing. I am planning on getting a GoPro, hopefully, so I can, you know, with the stick and just like, Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Pissing Go Productions, or the new channel name that depends on you guys' votes on what you guys would like to see. But here are the pros and the cons of those things. Um, the pros of starting a new channel... It'll be a backup if this Piston Cup channel falls under, yes, this is made for kids. And the pro and the pro of the new channel would be that it would be vlogs and not targeted towards kids. It would be like a daily life thing. And they might see it as for adults, so that would fall under, no, this is not made for kids. Um, there is some updates about COPPA, and they're saying that they're not going to fine you $42,000 if you're a small creator if the if you're gonna get put out of business or if you're gonna go bankrupt or lose your house and stuff like that so this is good news because there's been people talking with the FTC about this and at Washington and apparently I guess people have just exaggerated this problem I'm guessing so but um anyways yeah this chair is broken it broke on me yesterday when I was doing homework so my office chair is broken um, this is the outfit I took to school today. This is the shirt I'm wearing. And then this is my bomber jacket. Speaking of bomber, today I was at school and one of my friends is like, hey, is that a bomber jacket on Gael? And I was like, yep. So in my third period, I was watching Cars 2 and I was at the London scene. And I was basically just going frame by frame, looking at the animation, at the script and the characters and the story. And right when I opened my phone in fourth period, McQueen is there in London saying, Mater, you are the bomb and this and that. You've always been the bomb. And I was like, what a coincidence. Bomber jacket. You are the bomb. ka -chow! Um. So anyways, that was funny. That was funny. Um, another thing about me. This, well, right now I have straight hair, but my natural hair is curly. Um, I did this back in August. It's not the best straightened hair right now, but this is my straight hair. Comment down below if you want to see my curly hair one day in a vlog or something. Uh, I don't like my curly hair, but... Oh yeah, and of course I wear glasses. This is what I look like without glasses. Comment down, <laughs> comment down below. Glasses or no glasses? People say often that I look like two completely different persons and I can see where they're coming from with that. Um, but anyways, what else about me? It's funny how some people tell me, do a face review. Okay, what do you want me to review? Here's my ear. It is a 155 scale in comparison to this die cast. My nose is the size probably of Luigi. I'm not reviewing my face. I'm revealing my face. I'm not reviewing it though. Anyways, so... More information about me. Um, do you want it on this channel? 
I will upload it on here, of course. But if you guys want it on another on another channel, then or on a new channel, it'll be uploaded on there. Also in the comments, um, let me know what you would like the name of this new channel, hopefully to come to be, maybe, excuse me, to be called. What channel names do you guys have in mind for this um, new channel? It can be anything related to Piston Cup Productions. Well, no, scratch that. Nothing to do with Piston Cup Productions. It can be um, Gael Vlogs or something like that. Just come up with some ideas in the comments, I guess. Actually... Speaking of that, I just dropped the mini racer. And I just dropped. Mm, guess what I've got? Movie posters. We've got this poster right here of racing like a fireball. I think it was this creeper MC on YouTube who made this poster for me last year. I am so sorry. I, I forgot who made this for me. But this poster is beautiful. And it is the current thumbnail. On the movie and I signed it right there piston cup productions this poster is beautiful I love this one but this one is by a friend I have on Instagram I'll leave his Instagram um, on the description or maybe a pinned comment but look at this this is just one of the many posters he made me for the film look at the official logo on there racing like a drag racer 11 29 19 piston cup productions this was the peer race from the movie um, there are a few errors on here because these were rushed. These had to be finished in a week top um, Because production had to Get on the ball because I've been I worked on this movie for 11 months If you go back and watch the original teaser trailer for this movie It was back in what February or March or January. I Think it was in January the errors are starring is spelled wrong and spiky as well But it's it's not that important you just need an e between the k and the y on spiky and another r on starring they're just typos i'm guessing they're not they're just little typos what was the inspiration for this poster i have a post i have another poster over there actually let me grab the camera right over here where is it is the star wars poster and see how that set um that information is set on the bottom and there's got like this border around it. Well, that's basically what we got for this poster. You see that? Pretty cool. And we've got my logo at the bottom. Piston Cup directed and written by Piston Cup Productions. And that poster also says directed and produced, right? And written, my bad, by Piston. Well, not Piston Cup Productions. That one says George Lucas, my man. But this one, this one says piston cut productions which is really cool i really like that he, he went above and beyond on these posters i love this guy so much and his work to the guy who made this as well beautiful work i love the text and the huge logo separating two things he said this was supposed to be like a dvd cover but this oh, this is amazing for a poster this is great i love this um when i got home actually I arrived to this. Mini racers are about to fall. I arrived to this surprise. I'm not going to show any information. Oh, almost. Okay. But it's from Malaysia. And I know what it is, but I'm going to look at it and unbox it live here. <laughs> so it is. Do you guys know what it is? Oh, this thing is a beauty. I wish this would come to the United States, but. The card is bent, but I don't care about that. It is... Ste no one. Absolutely no one. YouTubers on their thumbnails. It is the Steel Blue Jackson Storm. So this is the Steel Blue Jackson Storm that has been not released in the United States and is just um, international, I believe. I forgot where, what location this was revealed in. But it was like a Toys R Us exclusive. Or like a promo. If you spend a, a specific amount of money on cards, they would give you this for free. How much did I pay for this? About $20 shipped, actually, which is a pretty good deal. So I'm going to do some photo shoots real quick, and we'll unbox this. Okay, I also forgot to mention that the lighting in this corner of my room is really bad. I do have lights on these things, and I do have... Oh, move McQueen. These controllers to control the lights, but they're all dead. I should have put new batteries before starting 
but my apologies. I can save it for a collection video, actually, that I'm planning to release in, I want to say January for a New Year special, maybe? But anyways, I did a couple of photo shoots in the package. Still need to do some out of the package, but I'll do that after the video. Let's unbox Steel Jackson Storm. It feels so weird unboxing like this. I feel like Ryan's toy review. Good luck with the copper rule, Ryan. Well, this is cool. Look at this. Let me try to focus on Jackson there. Jackson Steel Storm. Wait, can I? Oh, no, you can't zoom in. What am I recording on currently? iPhone XS Max. Jeez, um, oh, look at that. Oh, I'm sorry if there's any background noise. Family over. But he's got the Ricky Stripes. He's got the black on the back as always in comparison to the normal one. See, they both have that... Yeah, I mean, you can't tell the difference from here. But from the front, of course. I mean, he's still blue. Still blue? Like, oh yeah, he's still blue. Like, you know, or like I'm still Piston Cup Productions. But he's still blue, not still. You get me? Um, I like this guy a lot. He's really cool. Look at the bottom. That's really cool. The colors changer I got in Mexico, in comparison to this, I mean, come on. It, it's a no-brainer. Go for this one if you can. But the one from the color changers in Mexico is nice, too. It's also a blue. I mean, you guys have seen my review, or where I feature this guy. It's slightly different, so yes. In my mind, at the time, this was like a blue steel Jackson Storm. But now this guy arrived in the mail. And it's like, this guy beat him. By a long shot. Boom! Get out of here. Demonetized. But this guy is just so amazing. I'm going to do some sunset shots. Oh, but the sun already went down. It was super cloudy today. And there was like no sun. And it was like raining. Now the sun has gone down from me recording all of this outside, inside. There you go. Steel blue Jackson Storm. I come on, focus. Speed. You're not speed. No, I'm just joking. I'm not going to throw him. V valuable car now in my collection. Um, that might be a question you guys have for me. What are your valuable cars? That G Steel Blue Jackson Storm I put right there is one of them. Mm, I have Damage the King as well. I have the San Diego Comic Con Lightning McQueen 3 pack over there. So apparently I need to talk about merch. Origin story, how I started liking cars in YouTube, and a giveaway. So for the giveaway, real quick, we're going to be giving away these two posters signed. I'm going to be giving away the Racing Like a Fireball poster and the Racing Like a Drag Racer poster. How do you win these? Let me explain. First of all, you need to be subscribed to this channel. You can't just fish in, want to grab these, and then in like 20 years they're going to be valuable because they have my signature and you're going to make money off of them. No. These are for you to have in your collection, or these aren't for resale. I'm going to make more, hopefully, for more giveaways, but for now, movie one, movie two posters. You have to be subscribed to the channel. You have to follow me on two of my accounts that I have, because I am going to be posting on both of these accounts now, news and updates on the giveaways and future videos at Piston Cup Productions. All in lower caps, uh, lowercase letters, my bad. Um, all the way through. Um, no underscores, nothing like that. At Piston Car Productions. Second one is my personal account. It is champion underscore Gael underscore Carranza. I'll put that in the pinned comment on the bottom. Along with um, my friend who made these. Third of all, um, I will be making a post with, you know, like a thumbnail like this or a picture of me like... Something like that. And you're going to have to tag in the comments um, two people and ask them what their favorite part of this movie was and what their favorite part of this movie was. I will give this giveaway a chance of... Or I will give this... Hmm. How long? Hmm. I'll give this a month. You have a month to enter starting today. November 11th, 2019. So, 
on December 11th, I will make an update with a random number generator and we will have two winners of these two signed posters. So I'll give it a month. I think it's reasonable. I don't know how long typically giveaways last. I know not two weeks, that's too short. But, but for my first giveaway, I, I guess I'll do a month. I'll find a way to ship these. That's another thing. You must be in the United States to receive these. I cannot ship internationally, unfortunately. Maybe in the future, but for now, shipping is ex very expensive with trade and the present. There's just a bunch of political stupid stuff that I, I don't really want to get into right now. But yeah. First movie I've made, second movie I've made that are connected to each other as far as that. Because I do have Hudson, like Disney Pixar card story, the backstory of Doc Hudson, but I don't have any posters for that. Or photography, so I might remake it because when I started YouTube, I had an iPad Mini 3. I had an iPad Mini 3 when I started recording. And that's how I made a lot of my stop motions and videos when I start videos when I started. Then I upgraded to the iPhone 8 Plus, which was my first ever phone. And then that mount function and was marked as defective. So my 8 Plus, I had to get rid of it. And now I have the one I'm recording on right now, the iPhone XS Max. And yeah, that's what I've been doing my videos on ever since. In the mail, I have a laptop coming in, a MacBook Pro. That is really going to help me edit vlogs and all of that stuff. A few days ago, or just yesterday, I believe, that that printer over there, came in the mail as well let me show you guys up close up this is where i printed the posters actually this that bad boy right there basically printed the posters see this woody buzz everything a little bit more of my collection um my room is a mess yeah down there's my entire toy story collection it used to be in that mcqueen box but i've been trying to reorganize and everything Little 360. Oh, and there's intensive galloping bullseye down there. Picture with him. Um, but yeah, what else was I gonna talk about? Oh yeah, who is interested in some merchandise? Some merchandise for Prison Go Productions. Um, shirts, phones, phone cases. My bad. Mugs. Comment down below if you like. Would like to see merchandise. But the thing is, due to copyright. Here's a thing that's probably going to devastate a lot of you guys. Maybe in 2020 or even 2021, this logo is going to be gone. I cannot use the Piston Cup because Pixar created it, basically. But sure, this one has Mickey Mouse ears on the back, but now that's Disney copyrighted. And I can't be using other things that don't belong to me to create merchandise, if I'm not mistaken. I am in the development with some friends of creating a new Piston Cup Productions logo. The channel name might even change from Piston Cup Productions to something else. But what we have so far is we've taken off the wings of the Piston Cup and we put some lightning bolts and this bottom portion might change as well. Lightning bolts as in the ones Cars 1 Lightning McQueen has. The ones that don't have the flames. We're thinking of putting them on there. But the thing is, the Piston Cup seems something generic and not really copyrighted, but apparently it is. But if I can name this like the Lightning Cup or the YouTuber Trophy or something like that, I don't know what I'm going to name it. Hopefully I don't have to do all of this stuff just to make merchandise for this little channel or logo thingy, whatever. But just in case, it'll be in the development. I really do want to keep the golden color though which is probably the most attractive thing about the Piston Cup is that it's gold, it's not silver, it's not bronze. Maybe a metallic red for my own logo, but for now, we're keeping this logo right here with the Mickey Mouse ears that my friend who also made this poster created. He created my Christmas banner that um, is still in development because the size doesn't fit on a laptop or a, a desktop, my bad. It is too small. It will fit on a phone, but on a desktop. So that um, banner is still in development. But the profile picture for Christmas has been uploaded a few weeks back. Or two weeks ago, I believe. Or one. I think I put it up as soon as the movie released. Racing Like a F Drag Racer or Racing Like a Fireball 2. 
just remembered origin story so here's little me as a little kid and here's basically how i got into cars and a youtuber it all started 2006 i was two years old my parents were taking me to go watch cars on the week it premiered june 9th or a few days after june 9th that week of the release and basically as soon as mcqueen says okay here we go focus speed i am speed as soon as he said that and the cars go zoom zoom vroom 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 all that crazy stuff vroom, vroom, all that i supposedly started screaming and they had to take me out of the theater what the heck god help me i didn't see it in the theaters literally first 10 seconds and i was already freaking out so it, I didn't see Cars until it was released on DVD later that year, or I believe until the next year. No, I'm pretty sure it was released later that year, that year, my bad, like in probably November, maybe October. I don't remember too well. And so my parents bought me the DVD and I would buy so many of these cars when I was a kid. Diecast after diecast, every time I would go to Target back in San Francisco, the second floor Target, it, the mall was Tamfren, I believe, and they have a second floor Target, a uh, two floor Target. The Tamfren Mall, that mall is my childhood. <laughs> and make, car after car after car, I had the King, I had Chick, I had all the McQueen variants that were released so far. And I just made my own stories and I would recreate the movie. I had Ramon, I had the old school Ramon, I had the, uh, the Ramon with the McQueen bolt on it from the final race where the King crashes. And that's how I got into Cars. And when Cars 2 came out, I was super ecstatic and excited about it. Again, buying diecast after diecast after diecast. Professor Z, all of the... I didn't have much of the lemons. I didn't have many of the lemons, which I kind of regret because the lemons are pretty cool. They're unique, um, which is kind of... Okay, maybe people are going to hate me for saying this, but I'm catching Cars 2 fever. As in... I'm liking it a lot to the point where I'm watching it to see why people hate it. And I honestly don't hate it. It could be better, but I like it because it's unique. Because they're traveling all over the world racing. And normally we just see, just see McQueen going from point A to point B. And maybe a detour here and there. Cars 1, point A, um, Motor Speedway of the South. Point B, Los Angeles, tiebreaker race. Cars 3... Um, McQueen is winning and winning and racing and everything, but the race that determines his, um, his fate for the future of his racing career is, um, basically his crash, his crash, and that was in the Motor Speedway of the South, I believe, I forgot which race track he crashes in, Motor Speedway of the South or Los Angeles, do I have a poster on here? I do, but it doesn't say anything, I think it was Los Angeles, I think so, so McQueen crashes there. So he has to get from that crashing point of point A to point B, where's the Florida 500, and a detour, the beach, Thunder Hollow, the, what's it called, Thomasville, and in Cars 1, the detour was Radiator Springs, or way down here, or up here on the map, I don't know where it is. So then, Cars 2, though, he's back from racing, and then he's back home. And we're going point A, point B, point C, point D. He's got the whole circle going and he's like pumping his pistons. But then Mater over here. Where's Mater? Mater right here. Point A. And then he's going to point B. And then all of a sudden he's about to get the point. Well, actually point B was going to be Italy or Porta Corza. But of course they picked him up as a spy and the movie just, yeah. So Mater's going this way and then McQueen is going that way and then they reunite the end for Cars 2 but I like the racing the Tokyo night race the Italy race the talk with Uncle Topolino the London race uh... but besides that and the spies uh... it's a pretty unique film they had a large variety of die cast they had a lot of options but um I think that's it I think we're done for this video so remember 
to um, go back through this video and count all the bullet points where I said comment for this, comment for this, comment for this, and let me know in the comments what you think about this. I'm just trying to open up my channel more because it's felt so closed in where I'm just like, here's the car, guys. I just unboxed it on my hands. You don't see my face ever in your life. This is all you get to see. So today, we are going to be reviewing this car right here. I want to move that poster out of the way, or that piston cup covering my face, and actually show you how happy this franchise and cars make me. So yeah, that's going to be basically the end of this video, or face reveal, not review. Thank you all so much. Oh, wait, I just remembered. Uh, people are probably going to hate me for this, but or like this, but... I've had some comments recently say that they don't like my new intro because it's too lengthy. I don't know about the outro, but I'm thinking of maybe in 2020, starting 2020, the intro. Let's say this is the intro. Boop, it's going to be gone and we're just going to keep the outro. I'm still thinking about it. What do you guys think of that? Also, let me know in the comments below. Um, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Piston Cup Productions signing out. Until the next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and follow the official Piston Cup Productions Instagram page for more exclusive content. That's all for today's video. This is everyone at Piston Cup Productions signing out. See, See you all, all next time. time.